And as we've been reporting here and digging into this developing story, Denard is accused of exchanging a vote for money. Now she faces federal charges of wire fraud, bribery and attempted extortion as well. Now the big question, of course, what's next and will she resign? Marielle Carbone spent the day at City Hall getting those questions answered. She joins us now live. Marielle. Yeah, well, Denard did not show up to City Council for the meeting today, and her attorneys tell us she'll decide by the end of next week on whether to resign. Now, the other option here is possible suspension, but regardless of what happens, what comes next all comes down to state and city law, and there's some conflicting information there because the city is under a charter. Now, city code says uh, it does lay out does not lay out specifically how a member can actually be removed from office, but city leaders do choose a designee that would choose their successor if their seat becomes vacant. So Denard has chosen PG Sittenfeld to do that. Now, on the other hand, state law lays out a complex process for suspension uh, with direction coming from the attorney general's office or the prosecuting attorney. Now, in this case, that's the U.S. Attorney's Office, but it could also fall on Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters. Dieter says he is looking into it. Now, under that set of rules, a probate judge would appoint an interim replacement. Today, the mayor having some strong words to say about the whole thing. The allegations against Councilmember Denard are serious and the most disturbing allegations of corruption that I have witnessed or even heard of. Now, the mayor says it undermines public trust, and he's calling for an immediate explanation from Denard. He says she owes that to the public. Now, aside from the mayor, Councilman Greg Landsman was the only other council member to speak today during the meeting, and only one person actually coming up and talking about this during public comment. Reporting live from City Hall, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News. All right, Marielle, thanks so much. So our team coverage continues with investigative reporter Paula Christian. As she sat down with council member David Mann today, Paula, what did he have to say about Denard's future? Well, David Mann is a fixture here at City Hall. He's served on city council for nearly a quarter of a century over different periods of time, starting back from the 1970s. He says he's never seen a council member face charges as serious as Denard's. Obviously, every member of council is tarnished by these kinds of allegations. Federal prosecutors accused Denard of trying to exchange city council votes for money. As she awaits a preliminary hearing in federal court on March 16th, leaders wonder about her future at City Hall. Mann believes that the state attorney general or Hamilton County prosecutor Joe Dieters should begin the process to suspend Denard from city council. He says he may ask them to do this himself. This is serious when the feds uh, uh, make charges. The feds usually win. It's rare that they bring charges and even have to try them. And uh, so it's, it's, it's not a good sign, but anyone uh, charged is entitled to their day in court. Mann says work will continue at City Hall, but council members may look more closely at motions or legislation that Denard has been involved with. I'm sure we'll look at things a little differently than we have in the past in terms of uh, uh, anything she may have proposed anything that the vote's going to be close on. Mann says he and the rest of city council are sad and disappointed because they all had personal relationships with Denard. But at the end of the day, he says he'll do what's best for the city. Mann also filed paperwork today with the County Board of Elections to begin raising money to possibly run for mayor. He says the timing was random because he's been considering running for mayor for quite some time. Paula Christian, WCPO 9 I-Team.